And next driver out, Jake Guadagnolo, the most recent winner on the tour. What an amazing story. Jake is a bracket racer. I talked to him for the very first time a week ago in Seattle. I was doing a little work on the Fox Sports 1 show. They drafted me in there, and they just had me, you know, go find him and ask him a question. And I, afterwards, I was like, hey, where's so-and-so pity? He goes, I don't know who that is. I'm a bracket racer, and I got invited to drive this car because, you know, they think I'm pretty good at it. And so I told him I could do it. And he goes out, and he wins the race, guys. Like, that's a great story. And Jake came up on the Winter Circle stage, and we had a great time. And now he's back. Yeah, the Linden, California farmer, Jake Guadagnolo, on the O'Reilly side of the racetrack. You see the M7 performance decal. And Ulf Leanders, the Leanders brothers out of Vixjofers, Sweden. More well-known, four-time European champion. In the clutch biz. And they are known for their extremely high starting line RPM, which you will soon find out about. Right now, they're rolling through the water box together. Jake and Ulf heating them up. No burnout for Ulf Leanders. Looked like the uh, the tires maybe weren't quite lubricated enough to start spinning. Kind of just drove forward. Not a lot of smoke. But over the course of the season, we've seen that happen a few times, and it never seems to be totally detrimental to the run. Jake Guadagnolo using the torque converter combination, which is why he is able to jump from a bracket car and get on the trans brake button and release the button and have a great reaction time in a top alcohol funny car. Most of the top alcohol funny cars use the, you know, swap, feet, clutch, shift situation, which I frankly think is super cool and kind of in the heart of top alcohol funny car racing, top alcohol dragster racing. But the object is to go fast and get the finish line first. And if you can do that with something slightly different, like the torque converter combination like Jake did, having great reaction times, 12s and double O's and all that stuff, it is what it is. Running the Minor Brothers combination. Guadagnolo, most recent winner. Out on the tour, Ulf Leanders. Listen to the green car, listen to that. Jake Guadagnolo, 011 reaction time. Car goes down the racetrack, 559, 2261. Leaves first, outruns Ulf Leanders. You could hear that starting line RPM over there on the left-hand side, like way up there, like 8,000 RPM, maybe higher. 561.7 at 261.67. So Jake Guadagnolo getting used to that number one, whether it be race winning or number one qualifying. But then again, we've only had three cars go down the racetrack. 559 for Jake and that minor racing team. Good job.